What is going on everybody? It is Ahmed and I am back today with yet another video for you all. I wanted to drop in this very light, very late night video, but I wanted to talk about Pepe just one more time here. You're going to hear probably hear more about Pepe from me on this channel because I've been following this cryptocurrency since an $18 million market cap. And that can be verified both on YouTube and on Twitter. So make sure you're following me on Twitter or X at your pop eight. If you want live and very um, up-to-date news as often as I possibly can. Now remember, never financial advice, putting you guys on the plays that I'm in. If you're new around here, smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Aside from Dogecoin, Pepe continues to have the strongest 24-hour trade volume in the entire cryptocurrency market, up 9.96% on the week, down 2.3% on the day as we're seeing the overall market as you guys can see here, slightly correct, but honestly, just consolidating. Bitcoin holding above 63K, Ethereum at 2,600. When ETH begins to rip, breaking over three and 4,000, I believe we're going to see all the ERC20 tokens and altcoins begin to follow. And Pepe, in my opinion, is one of them. The community sentiment right now is at an 84% all-time high. And the thing that I wanted to highlight on this video today is regarding Coinbase. We know that we already have the Binance effect that occurred way back in May of 2023 when Binance decided, decided to list Pepe and we saw this thing go absolutely parabolic. It consolidated for quite some time until what we saw as the bull run when Bitcoin broke its all-time high. Pepe followed in suit, but with many multiples over that. So what I see Pepe doing is similar to what Shiba Inu did back in 2021. From a 3.3 to a $4 billion market cap, I believe it has what it takes to become a 50 to $60 billion market cap coin. So with that being said, one of the things I wanted to mention is we know that Binance has listed Pepe. We know that OKX has listed Pepe, Bybit, Kraken, Huobi, you name it, all the big cryptocurrency exchanges, KuCoin, but there's one missing, even crypto.com, but there's one missing, and that is Coinbase. The Coinbase effect is real. Coinbase was the last big centralized exchange that listed Shiba Inu back in 2021, and that happened in the end of September of 2021. What happened the following month thereafter in October? We saw Shiptober. And I think with how the market is looking right now, as it's primed for its reversal back to all-time highs and beyond for BTC, ETH, and all the major altcoins and meme coins, I think Pepe is going to have a very exciting October. And a price prediction, to be honest, is I think it's going to do what Shiba Inu did get listed on Coinbase. Why? Because Coinbase already launches Pepe Perpetual Futures earlier this year in April of 2024, similar to what they did in Shiba Inu. Then they opened up institutional investing for SHIB in early August, September time, and then they put a spot listing on their major exchange. And remember, the Coinbase effect is real. A lot of investors, especially based out of North America or the United States, only buy on Coinbase. So as soon as a spot listing goes live, like for, for example, Shiba Inu, we see a really significant amount of new investors, buyers, volume, holders, and typically very green and strong candles following. So with all that being said, the community sentiment is strong. I want to point out Crypto Journeys. He actually put up a post about Pepe just earlier today, and I was impressed because of this here. Look at this. This is what you call true support. The Pepe is the king of meme coins at Pepe Coin ETH. 374 likes, 58 retweets, and 69 comments. Even shout out to Mr. Jake. He said, meme king. And I couldn't agree more. So again, the Coinbase effect still hasn't taken its place for Pepe. Month of October is looking like it's going to be one of the strongest that we've seen for crypto. Remember, just to give you guys a quick reminder of what October did to the second biggest meme coin at that time, which was Shiba Inu. Remember, we went from a 69 Satoshi all the way up to literally over 15x at all time high from that moment in end of September going into the end of October, followed by a pretty strong retracement as the entire market kind of went into a pretty bearish trend. But I think for this time around, if we're looking again at SHIB, we would see this kind of run up for Pepe like Shiba Inu did, and then consolidation instead of a drop-off, followed by potentially more depending on how things go with the president election, presidential election here in the United States, and everything following that. So my hedges are definitely for Pepe to do really well. I believe it's going to break its all-time high, and not only do that, but potentially 
10, 15, 20x from there. And then the rest is history. So be prepared, not surprised. Make sure you're trying to double down and find the meme coins that make the most sense to you. So for me right now, the Pepe related tokens that I'm looking at are Pepe and based Brett, which is Brett on base, already on a lot of major exchanges, but still missing some big spot listings. KuCoin, BingX, Bitmark, Gate.io, Bybit, but we're still to be listed on Spot Binance, Spot Coinbase, Spot Crypto.com, so many other ones. So with that being said, and even OKX, that by itself will take this token all the way up to a three to four billion dollar market cap. And from there, the rest could be history. 10, 15, 20 billion dollar market market cap Brett, I think is also on the table. So keep doing your due diligence, keep studying the market and find plays that make sense to you. I appreciate your support as always. That's all I had for you. And until next time, everybody, as always, keep investing. Peace.